This is We Dem Girls Tell All. We Dem Girls Tell All. What's up? <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. As you can see, one of us is missing. One that looks like me, but <laughs> different. Because that's Lyndon. Um, and basically, we are going to New York this week. And you're going to be seeing a lot of videos. So make sure and subscribe so you can check out all of our videos. But if not, we will be posting them all over the place. So you probably won't miss a thing. Um, basically, my sister Lyndon, who is our fourth member, is graduating high school, so... Lyndon Hope Park! Yeah! Congratulations, Lyndon. We are super proud of you. And, um, two years ago, when my other brother graduated high school, I decided I wanted to take Lyndon on a super big trip. Why didn't I take him on a big trip? Don't love him as much. He smells. Yeah, kind of weird. He's a boy. He's a boy. He he didn't rank as high <laughs> in his class ranking. You gotta earn the trip. Anyway, I decided I wanted to take Lyndon on a trip to New York. And um, so I started saving money and making plans. And I casually mentioned it to this one right here. Don't casually mention anything to me. I'm because then it became a reality when they decided they wanted to come with us, which was good because I was freaking out about taking Linda to New York by myself. And we started planning almost exactly a year ago. Yep. When was the first text message? It was in June, early June. Yep. So it was a little over a year ago that we mentioned it, y'all talked about it, decided we were going to go on this trip. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So we've been keeping this secret from Lyndon for a year. Okay, so around Christmas, I ruined the secret. Flat out. Flat out ruined it. I almost ruined it because we were playing a game. I ended up winning more money than her in the game. And I was being a sore winner, like I always am, and running laps around the house cheering that I won. Yes, I realize that's probably not the best. But I did it, so whatever, it's in the past. And she got mad at me and told me I was being a sore winner, and I said, I'm using the money for your senior trip anyway. Just and she it. said, I knew it was a trip. And I crumbled to the ground in the fetal position, which gave it away even more. But at that point, I just couldn't handle it. So how did you recover? Lied. A lot. And then I ended up telling pretty much every single person in our lives. <laughs> I have told everyone I've ever met. Kudos to San Angelo for so, I am so proud of everybody. Trip A week after this New York trip, we're all going to a kids camp. Um, and some of us cannot get mm. off of work mm. for that <laughs> trip. And so she's been asking her if she's going to go to kids die. camp. But we can't say that she's not going to kids camp because we're going to be gone for a whole week the week before on yeah. this trip without telling Lyndon. Well, one time we were at Young Adults on Thursday night and she was like, uh, is Carissa going? And I'm like, she's like, Lyndon, Lyndon asked if she was going and I said no because, and then I was about to say, we'll be gone for a whole week before. But I stopped myself and quickly changed the subject and just told her no that she wasn't going. I think the hardest part is mainly in casual conversation, especially when we're at places like the mall and you see things and you're like, ah, this would be perfect for... Can't say it. You can't say it. So we have two group messages and I think this is another really like tiptoey situation mm -hmm. is when we're typing something, especially if you're on like Safari you see something about New York, and then you just like share it, and so you send it to the group message. Every single time you send, we, I send something about New York, 
to the group message, I always had a mini heart attack, just like second guessing myself, thinking I sent it to our the wrong one. Yes, yeah. every single time. So I'm sure that's. My mom's almost ruined it. My dad's almost ruined it. I'm pretty sure um, multiple other people have almost ruined it. Anyway, the point is, it's a miracle we've made it this far. It really is. It's a miracle we've made it to Tuesday. We only have to make it one more day with her around because she's, she's gone one day. And then we tell her on Friday, and you're gonna see that reaction next. So. I know this has been something you think about, you know, every minute of every day since you found out that we have a group chat without you. But there is a reason we have this chat, and you know, Roxy knows what that reason is. Roxy's Basically, we've been plotting and scheming and planning behind your back. Tell her, Lord. Pack your bags, because we are going, <laughs> wait for it, to Disney World. <laughs> Disney World? Yep. That's where we're going. I thought we were going to Canada, the uh, Niagara Falls. That's in Canada? <laughs> yeah, half of it is. That's where we're going. Well, Canada. We can always go to Menard. <laughs> no, a dream of yours is to go to a place and on these tickets that I hold, say that we are going to watch Wicked in New York City on Tuesday. New York City! New York, New York City! York City. Yeah. Panda! The big apple. New York City! Hot <laughs> <I>, dog. <laughs> yeah. So, Lulu, it's time for you to pack your bags because we are leaving tomorrow! Oh, wow. yeah. Pack your bags because we're leaving tomorrow and you know what? We're going to tell you the rest of the information right now because you know while we're here looking great, we're also there also looking great. So <laughs> shut the screen, push pause, and ask us all the questions you want because we're going to New York City tomorrow! Because <laughs> she's so confused. Tomorrow? <laughs> 